Coming up on Press This, we take a look at the future release of WordPress. That's right, folks. WordPress 3.6 is coming out at the end of the month. Find out what you'll be getting. Hey everyone, and welcome to this episode of Press This. This is your host, Matt, <laughs> and I'm Dan, because we are just all out of it today. We're all to whack because we are looking today at WordPress 3.6, the upcoming new release in the WordPress franchise. Awesome, and I think I got about 3.6 hours worth of sleep yeah. <laughs> before this episode, uh, so we do apologize for that. Uh, this is a show where we take a look at some of the awesome WordPress stuff, themes, plugins, and other cool WordPress things. Put them head to head, review them, talk about them. Uh, for your benefit, we want to hit over 1,000 YouTube subscribers. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and hit subscribe. We just pat, uh, surpassed 700, so we, we do uh, thank you for that. So we got WordPress 3.6 coming up at the end of the month. Um, by the time you see this, it might be a couple weeks, week or two, yeah, week yeah, or two yeah. out. Um, it's uh, slated for 520. Um, so we're gonna take yeah. a look at what's new uh, in 3.6. Yeah. Let me run down the list real quick. Great. Right? The majors that were proposed yeah. um, in the beginning. What made the cut? What didn't? Mm -hmm. Post formats, improved autosave, improved UI for menus, improved revisions, editorial flow. Uh, workflow, excuse me, that didn't end up making the cut, uh, and the new WordPress 2000, sure. 2013 theme. And really quickly, just to avoid confusion, I think we should start with editorial flow, just yep. so that we can, again, editorial flow did not make the cut for 3.6. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about editorial flow and what that would have been? Yeah, so anybody who's publishing uh, with one or two authors, uh, mm -hmm. you know, two or more authors, I should say, uh, should have been looking forward to this editorial flow. This is your typical editorial flow. So somebody submits content, it's drafted, it's you know collaborated on a few mm -hmm. quick notes here and there of you know what should change, uh, what should be edited out, um, and then published uh, at a right. at a later date. WordPress right. was supposed to work on a whole editorial workflow, which would have been really awesome. Yeah. But I can totally understand that being um, one questionable if that even should be in WordPress. Um, to begin with, sure, um, and it's not an easy undertaking. And, and what I and what I got from I read a few articles prior to filming this that um, from the designers, um, I think was it Mark Jaquith was was one of the guys mm -hmm. um, working on it, and he they were talking about they mean to do it, and they still mean to do it. Maybe even in the next as soon as the next the next release three point seven or four, whatever it may be, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but they weren't comfortable with the undertaking it was going to be to, to, to implement this. But I think the d idea is to continue with it in the future. Yeah, and there is an, uh, a, a pretty good sizable project out there, editflow.org, sure. which is a plugin um, that kind of solves this already. So it's just interesting to see uh, yeah. you know, that uh, in action. Right. Well, I guess, I mean, again, with all these updates, it really is a, a way to, to get to put people out of jobs. Uh, no. <laughs> no, just, a, just a way to kind of throw everything just in there so you have it. Um, I'm almost wondering when that point is going to come when there's too much right. on WordPress. But I think they they do a really good job with every with every release of keeping it simple or keeping it looking simple, but providing you with more and more options, which is great. You bring up a very good point, but we don't have enough time to talk about it today. And that is what the community is saying as of late is, is there too much going into WordPress? When is it crossing the line of not being just a blogging platform anymore? When is it a framework to build an application or just a, a website in general? Mm -hmm. the lines are starting to get right. blurred uh, a lot lately. And it's an interesting place to be in WordPress because we're going to see uh, some different things happen, yeah. uh, hopefully soon. Uh, and I think that's a great segue into talking, discussing the 2013 theme, the new theme, which is kind of launching on WordPress.org with this update. Right. Um, and talking a little bit about where that's going in, re in relationship to all of these features. And I think it's a hand-in-hand -hand thing where uh, you said it yourself in the notes here that, it, that, that uh, you hate it. Mm -hmm. And it's more bloggy than mm -hmm. it traditionally was, that even 2012 was, um, and potentially even a step in the wrong direction. Yeah, I actually like 2012, and I'll tell you why. I mean, as a WordPress shop, we're building a lot of business websites, mm -hmm. um, and even blog sites are no longer just blogs anymore. People are selling product on their right. blog. They are, you know, a blog is just a way to get people in the door. Um, 
you know, and, and I think that with all the talk about, hey, WordPress powers 17 point X, Y, Z of the web. Um, it's not just blogs. It's media sites, right. news sites, mm -hmm. large e-commerce sites. Uh, when you come out with 2013, it is a definite, you know, stamp of you're using this for a blog because right. it's just such a blog feel. 2012, right. at least as basic, clean and simple as it was, was a great could be a great starting point for your typical traditional looking website. You know, I mean, just typical banner and right. horizontal navigation. And at least it was a good starting point where you could say, hey, I can bring this either way. This one looks traditional blog style to me. And I can see both sides of it, which is why I'm so on the fence, the, mm -hmm. the, the angel and, and demon sort of, sort of view to this, where I can see their position at WordPress saying, look, people are gonna be starting with this and they're gonna want an easy way to jump in and make an attractive website. Um, and I think that designing this, especially with responsive in mind, they've made a few quirky little changes that I really, really like. For example, the search bar on the right side. Every time I launch a really well done website, mobile website, it's very, very simple at the top. You have a couple little iconography. There's a little search button. I know when I tap that, it's going to search. So I really, really like that. They have actually defaulted though, the standard view to a single bar or a single post layout single column layout, my bad, goes down. And then the widgets by default now are on the footer. Hmm. Now you can choose to add to the right side, like a, a right sidebar, but by default, a lot of their, a lot of their design here um, goes right down to the footer. Yeah. It's all about the content, which yeah. lends itself to a blog page. Right. You know? and, 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 you know, I, I, we should probably talk to the guys from, from WordPress and why they made these decisions. And, and we could probably go into the track and figure out why. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I'm sure it's just a market share kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, Hey, everyone knows Tumblr blogger. If they making a switch from either of those services, they're obviously hearing about WordPress. What's the first thing that people want to do? Oh, start a blog on WordPress. So I want to start a blog. This one looks like a great blog. I'm sure that's the reason it's a no brainer. Really? Mm -hmm. Um, it started out as a blogging platform. So, you know, I don't hate the theme. Mm hmm. I don't hate the right, right. I, I don't hate the, like the design. And, and, right, I think and, the design's beautiful. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a great looking theme. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I think that from a, uh, a a standpoint of where is WordPress going as a platform, it's just it it just screams I'm a blog. You right, know, it's right, all right. I do. Right, but I also think that, and the, the other half of my conversation there yep. with that is, I think that the people who right. know what they're doing are already don't right. even care. They don't they, care. They they may develop with this is a very obviously it's a very clean simple you know starting point uh, theme theming point to, to to build upon with CSS and things like that. But I think that those people already know what they're doing. They're already selling their, you know, and they're just taking advantage of these new other improvements. Right. So let's talk about those new improvements. Let's start right. with post formats. Huh? Let's talk about f post formats. This is something that a lot of people are excited about. Um, there is a lot of, um, you know, applause uh, when when people hear about post formats. Mm -hmm. This is something else I'm on the fence with, yeah. and, and, but I want to get your opinion because sure. you are more new to right. the WordPress thing. Right. Uh, what are post formats? Here's what people struggle with all the time in WordPress. Mm -hmm. You get your WYSIWYG editor, your yep. Microsoft Office-like yep. editor, yep. throw all your content in. Sounds easy when it's just text, right. but what happens when you want photos and, and video, um, you know, a contact form, audio, all this stuff. And then you have to, you know, tab, 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 space, 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 put it over here. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, then you have to format that and then you're battling with the, with the editor. It just doesn't look right when you hit publish. So now what they're saying is we're going to have post formats, pre, you know, planned, uh, layman's terms, pre-planned layouts for these pieces of content. Mm -hmm. So you can just paste in a, a YouTube link and the video right. is just front and center. Yeah. And if you're part, we'll put, we'll put video of it, um, so you can see kind of what get a preview of what it look at. We're running the beta right now ourselves. Um, and when you guys use it eventually, if you're either part of the beta or when it, when it releases, you'll see it as well. I think that this, even more so than the theme, is so blog-centric, um, so social. Uh, you may have a differing opinion uh, than, uh, to mine, but I just believe that like, you know, oh, well, here's a link. You know, when I go to Facebook, what do I do? I paste the link in and it changes the formatting of, you know, this, that, that, that section. I delete it and I type in whatever I think about it. Right. I think that this is where this is going, and I think it's, again, very, very social media-centric, kind of blog-centric, and I don't think it lends well, again, to the ex you know expansion of the... I mean, that's my personal opinion. Yeah, and a lot of that stuff is... It's very difficult. We're probably going to get trashed for this, right. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so there's a few things going on. Again, if we're out there servicing people in 
for WordPress sites. This is just another layer, as simple as it is, just another layer of complexity yeah. because now it's splash across the top, you know, image, gallery, link, video, all these other options. Now it's like, okay, so do I click, where do I make my post? Right. And it's right there, but people are going to say, where do I title this? Where's the right. post? I don't understand what's going on. I think it's because we're dealt with a backend with a WYSIWYG editor. And there's no way to really change that without rethinking the entire approach to making right. a post. So I put this in my notes. Do we even have, so should we even have posts anymore? Right. Right. The, the word post, should it just right. be post or, or should you just yeah. have create video, yeah. create audio, create text? You know, should well, you break it out before we, even someone has to click post? I get that. But it also now that, that, brings into question right. the overall structure exactly. of WordPress and you know right. the PHP behind it and things like that. You really can't change it at that point. I mean right. imagine all the imagine the shits. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that it's was a tremendous, yeah, tremendous yeah. effort to, to have to to have to redo that. And and I'm just I'm just playing devil's advocate. Yeah. Again, don't get me wrong, I'm happy with the progression that, yeah. that we're going in. I do like post formats because it's always a struggle. Right. But there's always gonna be that, you know, oh what about two videos? Video and an audio. How do you start to manage all that yeah. stuff, you know? Uh, so it's just going to be interesting, but it is a good uh, step uh, in the right direction. Improved autosave. Improved autosave, something we can all be happy about. Yeah. Uh, don't you hate it when you're typing in something in WordPress and all of a sudden your browser crashes or you drop internet access or Wi-Fi dies? Uh, they're improving autosave by leveraging more of the browser. Yeah, the thing that would happen with me is I would um, start writing a post and then I would like for tests here and then I jump on my other website or a blog or whatever and try to edit there and it would cancel out the other login and I didn't have a save and pfft, yeah. Goes. So yeah. I'm really excited for this one. Yeah. And so this is great. And what do I mean by leveraging the more, the browser more? Yeah. Uh, this is using the browser's memory, if you will, or mm -hmm. storage sure. so that as you're typing it, it's saving it locally on your computer, not trying to send it up right. to the web. Right. Um, so good stuff there. Another thing I, I'm very happy about is the improved UI uh, user interface yeah. or the look and feel right, right, right. Uh, of the menu system, uh, yeah. menu structure, menu page. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Disregard my notes here, by the way. <laughs> 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 I later, I later, uh, I later looked into it a little bit more and played around but, with it. But your initial note yeah, is yeah. you didn't even notice yeah, yeah, yeah. because that's how subtle of a change yeah, it yeah. is. But it's, I mean, that's cool. I mean, that's all right. Yeah. It's not a, uh, it's not a dramatic change, but it is organizing the yeah. left. Anybody who's dealing with pages a lot. Yeah. If you have multiple types of content and right. many many menus um, it's cleaned up a bit and organized a bit which is good if you're if you if you use with custom menus you're gonna love it and it's subtle enough um, I'm actually glad they didn't advertise it in a sense now that's why I said disregard the note there um, mm -hmm. when you if you need to use it if you want to use it and as opposed to having to use it because it's it's been changed it's a really really nice feature yeah. improvement uh, another thing that was always a bit uh, on the fence is the improved is right. the revision when system so they've stuff. improved revisions um, it seems like an improvement it's still uh, it looks like they wanted to get really slick and intuitive yeah. but then it was like they stopped halfway yeah I mean it's still in beta so uh, there might be some uh, changes coming down again you can always go into the WordPress track a little bit more advanced uh, and and actually see uh, the development cycle um, but it is good because now they have the green versus red so it is a little bit more helpful than the old revision right. system which is just mm -hmm. Very janky. Right. Um, <laughs> and, but even this one still doesn't make sense. Like, I just want to see left-hand side, old content. Right-hand side, new content. Right. Yes, no. That's yeah. it. Yeah. There's, like, a slider now, which is kind of cool because it shows, like, when the users were changing. You can actually drag and drop, and it'll change. That's cool. But it says, like, from and then to. And I don't know. I just think that it could be even cleaner and simpler. But, again, sure. what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> Uh, and then we talked about the uh, the editorial flow did not, not being make, make it, not making. And it. we talked about the theme, so yeah, yeah we covered so, it. So, so those are the majors. Um, it is slated to be launched on May twentieth. Uh, we'll have a link uh, where you can actually follow the official project schedule. Sure. Um, but there is also a uh, WordPress beta plugin that will link up um, that we're actually using. So if you want to try it on a separate WordPress install of your own, 
um, you can just simply upgrade to the beta nightly release and that'll give you all the awesome stuff that we just looked at and uh like we said for 3.5 do not under any circumstances use that beta as uh the <laughs> as, as the foundation of your <laughs> primary website or your right. live website that you're trying to do something with yeah yeah definitely um so check it out i uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this episode this is the insight to the th upcoming 3.6 beta we want to hit over a thousand subscribers if you're enjoying the show go ahead and hit subscribe and youtube slocumstudio.com slash subscribe slash blog follow all the rest of the good stuff Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks, guys.